Hi, my name is Logan Cave, and in this video I will be talking about sweatshops. I have chosen to respond to the video about sweatshops because I don't think it is fair that the laborers on sweatshops work for so long and barely get paid enough to support their families. Money isn't the only problem, though health and safety of the laborers is also at risk due to their dangerous working environments. Sweatshops are used by businesses to produce products for cheaper, which raises their profit margin per unit they produce. These businesses are so focused on making more profit that they exploit their laborers' basic human rights. Which is a problem, because all of us are humans, even the workers, and they deserve the same rights as we do. I think this issue's policy needs to be changed. For example, if there were more safety inspectors, it would be a lot easier to find and close sweatshops. I honestly can't imagine working in sweatshops for hours a day and barely gain anything in return. The part of the video that really made me think was about 20 seconds in, when she talks about how the laborers can barely afford necessities themselves and their families. In the late 1990s, a group of 20 came to the awareness of sweatshops. The group is called the United Student Production Sweatshops, or USAS. The USAS kept awareness of the issue because they encouraged more people to do the same. Now, as a result of their work, there are many websites that can be used to educate yourself of the issue and or donate money to help end the issue. The intention was to encourage other people to put an end to this issue, but people have turned it into an opportunity to scam the people who want to help end this issue. They make them think that it was going to a good cause, but it really isn't. Something I would like to make clear is that we should all appreciate what we have and realize that our lives are great and that when we're mad to remember it could be a lot worse. One idea I had about this issue is to limit where your business can produce their products, or make sure there is always a supervisor who will protect the laborers' rights and health. To learn more about this issue, I would use the internet. Using the internet, I can find websites with information about the issue. I wonder why big businesses use sweatshops, because they make a lot of money without them. And if they are to get caught in the act, they can be in some serious trouble. What I think must be done to end this issue is more supervision and more inspections. I wish sweatshops will either have to change their ways or be shut down completely. If I were to act against this issue, I would build a platform by gaining an audience and spreading awareness of the issue. Then I would encourage that platform to either spread awareness or donate money to official organizations like the United Nations or the Red Cross. From there, there will be people donating their money to help end the issue, and more awareness will be spread.